Hi everyone, it is Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today is Friday, day after Thursday. <laughs> I don't know the video, I don't know the date. Um, I'm, it's gone, it'll be posted in the description box. Uh, and today is Charm Chatter number nine, I do know that. Uh, just really quickly, I just wanted to say that I went to lunch today with uh, Rosalie from Yarn It Out and oh my god she is such a sweetie and so much fun and we're going to have a great time at Stitch Fest uh, 2020. It's going to be fantastic. Um, we just went to McDonald's. We met. I went to the wrong McDonald's to start with and <laughs> uh, so she had to wait a little bit. <laughs> um, she got there early. I planned on getting there early. I did get there early. <laughs> But um, I was at the wrong place. Which is really funny because she comes from New York. She drove two hours. I drove 45 minutes. Which really wasn't fair. And I said, you know, next time we can meet closer, you know, like more halfway. But um, her brother lives or works in the 45-minute place for me. So she was also visiting with him. Um so then that's okay. Anytime she visits with him, I'll stop and visit with her too. So that that would be fine with me. We had a very nice time together. Um, and I feel like such a such a bad person. She brought me yarn. I have to show you. She brought me some pink yarn that she got in Canada. Um, it was in like a, was a dollar bin or something. So we don't know what it is. But I bet it um, looks like the yarn that I get at... Uh, in my, my, you know, that Stitch Studio yarn. So it's might be a Lion Brand or um, uh, Red Heart. It's nice, it's pretty, I love, I love pink. Purple's my favorite, but I love pink. Uh, so thank you, Rosalie. But then she also got me, which I didn't even know they ever made, Red Heart 100% cotton um, sport yarn. I don't think I ever knew that there was such a thing. This is, it's 100% cotton, it's nice. It's like soft, um, firm, but softer. I'm squishy a little, I like it. I've never uh, worked with a cotton sport yarn before. Uh, it says Coates and Clark's uh, Red Heart 100% sport, sport yarn and purple. So yay, I will make something out of this. I'm thinking maybe I'll make a bag. There's um, it's lavender. Let me see if it says. Uh, it says stacking it. Uh, it even tells you where to pull apart the yarn at, but I'm trying to see three ply 680 grams or 63.8 grams. I'm not seeing yardage. Um, I don't know. Maybe a bag. Because uh, it's cotton. And it's a really pretty purple. Lavender. I love it. I love it. We did not video while we were there, so I'm kind of disappointed with that. Um, but we were just chatting, 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 chatting. I didn't take any crochet in, even though I had crochet with me, but I was late and I figured she was probably starving because we were doing lunch. And so I just left my crochet in the car and never did go back out and get it. We were just... Um, and then her, you know, it was time for her brother to come, so I, I didn't want to intrude on their, uh, on their little thing. So I uh, came home, but I, she did, uh, she's got pic at least one picture on her phone, and she'll post it. I don't know how to insert a picture, uh, and I don't have my laptop back yet. It's getting really old about that. Um, so then I went to, um, I stopped at a Joanne on the way home because. I had mentioned that I made that blanket for donation, you know, for my friend, and it's in the Lion Brand um, Heartland USA, and it's so soft and sleek. It's like a thick Karen cotton, you know, it's really, I mean, Karen, uh, simply soft, real, real slippery, and um, I, as I keep messing with it, like, I keep having to re-put in the 
they're coming apart. You know, all my ends keep coming back out again, and I and I like weave them in, I trim, them, I want, and they keep coming out. So uh, I had mentioned that, and Liz from um, <laughs> Lefty, she's a Lefty. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. She's one of my good friends on YouTube tonight. It's not, I want to say it's left is right, but that's not it. Or maybe it is. Is it left is right? Yeah, left is, that's, I always want to get her and Sandy's crochet names together. I can, so anyway, leave it to lefty. There it is. Leave it to lefty. Sorry, Liz. You two lefties in there are just confuse me. Um, but anyway, Liz from leave it to lefty recommended that I get this. Uh, it's called, oh, you probably can't see it because it's clear. Um, and I, I should have, I'll put it back in the package and then you can maybe, but I was afraid of the glare on the package. It says fray check and you're supposed to, um, it stops spray, fraying on fabric. So anyway, I went there for that. She said, if you just put a couple of drops on the ends, it'll keep it from coming out. So we're gonna try that before I take the blanket um, to them for donation. So I just finally made it to Joanne's to pick that up. Um, so if nobody's ever heard of doing that before, this is Liz's suggestion, so I'm gonna try it because I don't think she'd steer me wrong and she's been a good crochet friend. <laughs> so, uh, and then I bought, I bought one skein of yarn only. I was really, you know, I like Joanne's and they always have good coupons and I know they had a big sale, but they still, they had up signage everywhere. Um, so I thought the sale was still on and it was like six, up to 60% off all the yarn, every yarn. But as I'm going through the aisles, there's no, the those signs, it was just on every single yarn end cap, 60, up to 60% off entire yarn stock. I'm like, awesome. Everything's on sale then. But it was not. And I was picking out yarn that I wanted to buy, and it was not even on sale at all. Well, I didn't buy it if it was on sale. So I ended up with one yarn um, from them. And then I also bought, and, and I've got that put away already. Um, I'll show it to you later. But I bought, look at this guy. Isn't he cute? I did buy him. Because I want, I, you know, I'm making that afghan <laughs> with all the squares, uh, with the neon yarns. And I saw him and I said, he needs a neon yarn square afghan to go around his little neck and wear on his back to make a lovey out of him, out of the neon. Then he'll match my neon blanket. So I had to buy him. And he was supposed to be on sale 25% off. That didn't ring up either, but she did give it to me because I bought two of them. I said, listen, I mean, I bought two stuffies. Um, this one, because he's going to go with my neon blanket and my granddaughters are going to love him. And a Dumbo. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Dumbo is the darndest, cutest little elephant ever. And his big old floppy ears. I don't have a Dumbo, so I had to buy him. I could not resist Dumbo. I know it's not yarny. I will make him, a, I'm not going to make him into a lovey, but I will probably make him a little blanket just to hold in his little hands. And the Knit Crate hat. Um, <laughs> so, by the way, <laughs> my Knit Crate box is still right here. I'm still in my dining room. Let me grab this little hat out of the Knit Crate box. Don't mind me popping in and out of the film, but uh, camera lens, but here it is. So, um, if you guys watched mine or anybody else's, if you do not knit, you probably don't know this about the little tiny hat you got in your knit crate box. Um, but a couple of people that knit told me that, I guess there's some kind of something that you cap the ends of your knitting needles with so that they don't poke things. And this little hat covers those to make them cute. Why would they only send you one? Because there's two knitting needles, right? And if you cap, you're going to cap both, right? You would think they would send you two. But, I mean, for a free thing. I mean, I don't I don't knit, so I don't care. 
It just kind of made sense to me that they would send you two. But look at Dumbo. He needs a little hat, right? Oops, he's not staying. I thought of that when I, I thought of this. When I bought Dumbo, I thought Dumbo could use an itty bitty little hat on top of this big cute head. So I might just attach the hat to Dumbo. Otherwise, it won't stay on. Or, <laughs> okay, I know this is really silly, and I'm usually not extremely silly, but maybe he's, he needs a trunk warmer. What do you think, trunk warmer? Or should I put it on his head? Or should I just leave poor little Dumbo alone? <laughs> oh, Dumbo, you're so cute. So anyway, it does fit on his little, on his little trunk, like a nose mitten. What do you think? <laughs> I think he looks cute with it on his head, though. It kind of takes away from his face if you put it on as a nose mitten, a nose warmer. I don't know. I didn't realize his hands were so together, but they are. So he could really just hold it in his little hand. That would be cute, too. That's what's going to happen, at least until I make him a little blankie. There. There we go. He can hold it. That's a good spot for it. So that's what we got. Um, that, that's been my day today. Just a little, I'm just holding them because he's cute. Just a little Dumbo, a little Bahama Llama. Um, and Rosie's Yarn. So we had a really good time. This is it. Just a really quick short video. It's actually longer than what I thought it was going to be. Um, just wanted to say hi, show you my Joanne stuff, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great weekend if I don't see you before then. Bye.